Republicans are positively freaking the heck out. You see, the deadline to withdraw from the state's gubernatorial election is four hours from now. The state Republican Party really wants its candidate, Mark Robinson, to drop out. Even by the standards of Donald Trump's hand-picked freaks and geeks, Mark Robinson is a uniquely terrible candidate. He's got a history, open history, of rank anti-Semitism, along with a bunch of other bigoted statements. He's made grotesque anti-abortion ads accusing women of not being responsible enough to keep your skirt down. Just two weeks ago, he had to deny a report that he was once a five nights a week attendee at multiple porn shops where he often brought a pizza into a private booth with him. All that had been a known quantity. It seemed fine with Trump and his party. And yet, and yet, and yet, this afternoon, we started to hear this chatter that Republicans, including members of the Trump campaign, had suddenly decided it was time for Robinson to go. And then we learned why. Around 3.30 p.m., CNN dropped a report that Robinson made a series of inflammatory comments on a pornography website's message board more than a decade ago, in which he referred to himself as a, quote, black Nazi and expressed support for reinstating slavery. The extensive and thorough report by the excellent reporters at CNN provides overwhelming evidence that Mark Robinson was indeed the one making the comments on the website Nude Africa, including the fact that he signed up for an account using his actual name, Mark Robinson. He used the same username and email address for other accounts on multiple other websites. In the report, Robinson says he wants to own slaves and calls himself a Nazi wrote that he preferred the former leader of Nazi Germany, Adolf Hitler, over the leadership in Washington during the administration of Barack Obama. I'd take Hitler over any of the expletive that's in Washington right now. Also, Robinson graphically described his own sexual arousal as an adult from the memory of secretly peeping on women in public gym showers as a 14-year-old. Robinson recounted the story as a memory he said he still fantasized about. What's more... Robinson said he enjoyed watching transgender pornography, a review of archive messages found in which he also referred to himself as a, quote, perv. Now, of course, it is our position strongly here on this program. Consenting adults in a free country should be free to produce and consume any kind of pornography should they want to. Transgender pornography obviously included. It does, however, present a stark contrast with what Robinson says now about LGBTQ folks. There's no reason anybody anywhere in America should be telling any child about transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. And yes, I called it filth. Does seem to be a bit of a filth expert. In an interview tonight, Robinson denied that any of the messages belong to him. This is not us. These are not our words. And this is not anything that is characteristic of me, nor has it ever ha has it ever been. How do you explain all of the matching details on this profile? The profile on Nude Africa lists your full name as Mark Robinson. The email listed on the uh, account is an email that you used, used, you have used elsewhere on the Internet, including with your photo. You have used that name, Mini Soldier, on multiple social media accounts, including Twitter, Pinterest, Black Planet, and YouTube. How can you deny with all of these matching details that this is you? Look, I'm not going to get into the minutia of how somebody manufactured this, uh, these salacious tabloid lies. Uh, we should also note that the report uncovered some very specific language used in the posts at issue. Uncommon phrases such as gaga maggot, dunderhead, I don't give a frog's ass, and I don't give two shakes of it. They were used by the account on Nude Africa and by Mark Robinson on his personal Facebook page. Also, according to the report... Robinson spoke admirably about the KKK, implying he would join if the hate group allowed black members, made disparaging remarks about Martin Luther King Jr., calling him a racial slur and an effing commie bastard. Bit more than a bit ironic, considering what Trump likes to say about his good friend Mark Robinson. I said to this man, and when he endorsed me, he gave a speech, and I said, you are Dr. Martin Luther King on steroids. That's how good you are. You are unbelievable as a speaker. And he got up and he's doing fantastically well in North Carolina. And I think he's going to be the next governor of North Carolina. Mark Robinson. I don't know if I'd put money on that bet right now. In fact, Donald Trump and his family have said a lot of nice things about the man who called himself a black Nazi and reportedly praised Hitler.
Thanks as well to, I think, one of the hottest politicians in the United States of America, and he's become a friend of mine, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Thank you, Mark. We have to be very, very careful. We have to cherish. We have to cherish Mark. He's a star. You have to cherish yes. him. Amen. It's like a fine wine, because that's what you have. You have a fine wine. He's an outstanding person. I've gotten to know him so well and fairly quickly. I want to thank a very good man, and he's in there fighting. He's fighting, and we know he's a fighter. The next governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, well, listen, we, 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 we know them. We know them well. We know Mark very well. Uh, amazing, amazing, amazing guy. But, um, you know, Mark is a, a, a wonderful person, a wonderful guy, a person I've gotten to know very, very well. And, um, you know, I, I, think, uh, I, I think not only are we going to win the state, I think he's going to win the state. You now it seems as though Donald Trump might be trying to distance himself from the fine one of a candidate. At least according to the Carolina Journal, citing an anonymous source, Robinson is under pressure from staff and members of the Trump campaign to withdraw from the governor's race. And that earlier this week, leaders in the Trump campaign privately told Robinson he was not welcome at rallies for Trump or vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance. He was slated to speak at the Vance appearance on Wednesday, but his office announced that Robinson had tested positive for COVID. Now, Robinson's pretty far down the polls, uh, while the top of the ticket is locked in a tie in North Carolina. And to be clear, the deadline for Robinson to withdraw is today. He's got less than four hours as of now. State losses candidate can pull out of the race up until the day before absentee ballots start to go out for overseas service members. Those ballots go out tomorrow. Robinson's name is already on them. But according to Robinson, doesn't matter anyway because he is not going anywhere. Let me reassure you, the things that you will see in that story, those are not the words of Mark Robinson. Clarence Thomas famously once said he was the victim of a high-tech lynching. Well, it looks like Mark Robinson is too. We are staying in this race. We are in it to win it. And we know that with your help, we will. I, for one, feel reassured. Now, let's just take a step back here. Maybe Mark Robinson is the most extreme version of the anti-social MAGA candidate. But is he really that much more extreme than J.D. Vance, who's just spent the last two weeks spreading essentially blood libel about Haitian residents of his home state? And what about Donald Trump, who also bragged about peeping on women while they undress to say nothing of boasting of sexual assault and then getting found libel for sexual abuse by a jury? The guy who broke bread at his home with a man who praised Hitler and an avowed white supremacist. This is the Republican Party under Donald Trump. I gotta say, North Carolina Republicans, I think it's gonna be a little hard to return your candidate now, you know? You broke it, you bought it. Mark Robinson's your guy.